Yo, what's up? Got a turbo here from Subaru directly. Let's open this box up. like paper. IHI Turbo. These guys make good turbos. Okay, so I'll translate this for you. This says this awesome turbo right here is indescribable to the Western culture and everybody who comes in contact with it should just close their eyes, install it, and hope for the best. And this turbo will turn little boys into men and give them the testosterone of a bull, and it will turn little girls into angel rock stars. And if this turbo fails, it's not their fault or responsibility whatsoever and you should immediately commit suicide and repent for your sins against the turbo gods. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Actually, it says uh, clean all the parts, all the, the inlets and outlets of the turbo, charging pipes and the oil uh, return and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, check and remove foreign materials as necessary and it says don't be retarded change the oil filter and the oil um, when you're replacing this but here is the uh, possibly the culprit and I'm gonna change this out and we can take a look but there's a filter screen inside there let me take this out of here yep 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 this here banjo bolt certainly has a little screen in there and that screen done get clogged and it'll uh, mess up your oil pressure situation so uh want to be mindful so let's check the old one which is right here well i'm seeing a lot of little particulate in there hmm what do you think I'm tempted to take take the filter out. I mean, won't that be better flow all the way around anyway? Yeah, I mean, it's going to flow way better regardless. However, those evil geniuses at Fuji Heavy put these in here for a reason. To uh, help protect the turbo. But if it makes the turbo crap, which, you know, I don't really see any hard evidence of that. Um, not really so great, but they did engineer it as such, so. Back to the unboxing. Oh my god. This nice brand new sealed turbo. So fresh and so clean. Dirty that is. Dirty as in clean. I mean, that's a tiny, tiny, itty bitty, almost unmeasurable amount of shaft play, but it is there. So it's, I mean, it has the clearance to spin. That's amazing. Super high tolerances. I, H, I, turbo. Very cool. N for Noah. 
but everything is here. I mean, it looks. I'll just swap very minimal things over, just this drain here. Just the hose, actually. But look how shiny that is. Oh, good. And I don't have to replace that, that stud that tore out. I got a brand new one. Look at this action. Oh, that's a lot of resistance. best song in the history of songs by the way. Anyway, this is uh, Justice and I love this band. Uh, their last album was not so hot, but um, Waters of Nazareth is a great song, and what else is it? Um, I think it's called Cross. No, was that their latest album? Anyway, the one before their last album was the best album I'd ever heard, and I actually found Justice on MySpace way back in the day, like seven years ago or something. Longer than that, maybe 10 years ago, and uh, it blew my mind. So go check out Justice if you haven't already. I don't know, maybe they're super mainstream now. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and happy Friday, today's Friday, so have a good weekend. I'll be working tomorrow, but anyway, peace.